time. But the child of God looks at work as a means that he uses to serve his master. The means to provide for the needs of his family, of course. The needs to provide for the calling of the church to preach the gospel and send forth men to the mission fields, of course. He uses work first in connection with his discipleship. It doesn't work isn't first. Discipleship is first. And the work serves as means to accomplish that calling of God. So all of this is set forth by Christ when he teaches about true discipleship. And again, we mustn't criticize Christ himself and say, but he's not really interested in disciples. He, he kind of pushes them aside in various ways so that they don't follow him. But the fact is that he knows man's heart. He knows those who would be his disciples but fail to realize the commitment that is part of discipleship. So he rebukes each and one assumes, unless God touched their hearts, that they departed from him and wanted nothing to do with his discipleship if he will not make concessions to them for the things they still wanted to do. So the cross for the child of God is important. The calling to serve God in thought, word, and deed. And it's the Spirit who works that in our hearts. That's part of regeneration and calling, conversion. The Holy Spirit applies the life of Christ in our hearts so that we love Him and serve Him and honor Him in all things. The Word of God itself states it this way, the Apostle Paul in Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14. This one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth to the prize of the high calling of God in Christ, I press on toward that mark, says the Apostle, forgetting the things behind, pressing toward that mark of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. That must be our discipleship. And we also seek in that way to serve Christ as long as we live here on this earth. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank thee for thy word. We thank thee for discipleship. We pray that ours may be a discipleship in truth, a discipleship which is the fruit of the work of the Spirit in our hearts, the fruit of the work of Christ on the cross, that we may first, first recognize our Lord, first recognize His calling of disciples to serve Him, and carry out all of our other tasks in the consciousness of our calling. Dismiss us with thy blessing, and be with each of us as we go also separate ways this week. Grant that we may be faithful in our calling, in our desire to serve thee and honor thee. For all of this we ask for Jesus' sake. Amen. So sing now from Psalm 71. Psalm 71. We'll sing verses 1 through 8 of that song. 1 through 8 of Psalm 71.